One of my absolute favorite ways to fish is throwing a swim jig. Um, if I was known for any type of technique out here on the tour, uh, swimming a jig would definitely be it for sure. You know, I'm a shallow water angler where a swim jig excels very well. You know, a swim jig for me is a very subtle, very natural bait. Doesn't have a lot of vibration, doesn't have a lot of flash, um, gets a lot of bites when other things won't. Um, and it catches big bass. That's why I like it so much. Um, so we're just going to go through a few trailers here that I like, um, typically everywhere that I go in the country. And I base my trailer selection typically on the time of the year and what type of water temperature we're dealing with. And what I mean by that is my rule of thumb is always the colder the water temperature, the less action I want out of my trailer. The warmer the water temperature, like here we're you know, late in the summer and the water temperatures are 85 degrees, I want to typically want a trailer that has a lot of action to it, a lot of flapping style, okay? The only other times that I would stray away from that is depending on what kind of spawn's going on for that time of the year, you know, whether that be the shad spawn or the brim spawn, um, then I'm going to go with some type of paddle type trailer, some type of swim bait trailer, okay? So, real quick here, if the water's extremely cold in those 40 to low 50 degree um, temperature ranges. I'm going to use just your traditional style jig chunk. Okay, this is a Strike King jig chunk, and you're going to have to pump the rod to get the action out of this bait. There's not a lot of vibration um, with this simple trailer here, but like I said, when the water's cold, you want a trailer that doesn't have a lot of action. As that water starts to warm up um, and the season progresses, I'm going to start going to what I call a flapping type trailer or a vibrating type trailer. This is a Strike King Rage Crawl, one of my absolute favorite swim jig trailers. It has big, what I call flappy arms, okay? Let's you fish that swim jig really slow and let you float it around whatever type cover you may be fishing, whether that be grass, bushes, laydowns, um, rock walls, whatever that may be. This trailer lets you keep that jig in the strike zone as long as you can. Now, when you want maybe a little more vibration, maybe the water has a little bit of color to it, I'm going to go with what I call a thumping type trailer. This is a Strike King structure bug and it has a lot of vibration. Okay, it gives you that thump that you need when the water may have a little bit of stain to it. Okay, then you heard me talk about, you know, when there's a brim spawn or a shad spawn going on. That's when I'm going to go with a paddle type, you know, a swim bait type trailer. Okay, this is an optimum double diamond trailer right here in white. Um, this would be a perfect trailer for around the uh, when the shad are spawning. When the shad are up there spawning on the grass, the sea walls, things like that, this is going to be the type trailer that I'm going to reach for. And then when the brim spawns on, you just take this same type jig, same type profile, and uh, use it in bluegill colors. So the next time you're out there on the water, depending on what time of the year it is, and you're up there fishing shallow, or you maybe you're a guy like me that just loves to fish shallow, get you a swim jig on, and I know without a doubt it's going to put some more fish in the boat for you.